My name is Elijah Chavaria and I am a physician's assistant. When I was in fifth grade, my grandma came to live with us because she was really sick and she needed someone to watch over her. I would always go with her to her doctor's appointments and one day when we were in the examination room and the nurse left, I look over to my right and there was all these cabinets. And on these cabinets, they had big red signs that were warnings that said, don't open these drawers, don't look through anything. And out of curiosity and being young, I walk over to the cabinets and I start opening them all. And I saw a lot of tools. And so right when the nurse walked in, I started asking questions, bam, bam, bam. You know, what, what is this, what is this, what is this? And she started explaining. And that's when I knew this is what I wanted to do in the future. That's when I got exposed to the medical field. I'm like, okay, I, I wanna do this, this is cool. So as time grew on, I had to figure out what are the steps that I need to take to make this dream happen? So I signed up for the Academy of Health Sciences in high school. This was one of the best decisions that I've ever made because in this pathway, the school really helped you build towards the success um, of the career that you wanted to join. They really helped prepare you. They would send us out on internships and one internship was they would send us out to the hospital in town and we got the chance to work with registered nurses. We would walk around with them and we'd meet their patients and we'd take their vitals, like their blood pressure, their temperature, and that was a lot of fun. One internship they sent us out on was to work with neonatal nurses with the babies. These babies weren't well, so we sang to them. And science has proven when you sing to babies, it helps nurse them back to health. And that was one of the best, most heartwarming things I've ever done. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This pathway really helped prepare us. Everyone cared, the teachers were so supportive, but not only the teachers, the students. We all helped each other. We pushed each other to over exceed our expectations. After high school, I went to Arizona School of Health Sciences, which is where I graduated with my master's degree to be a physician's assistant. I have my own office in Exeter, California, and I have my own staff of nurses. And a basic day, a patient comes in, they're not feeling well, I'll take their vitals, their temperature, their blood pressure. Um, usually they'll have the flu, so I'll prescribe them medication. And a lot of them, like if they hurt their leg or they think they hurt their arm, I can send them off for x-rays. I can prescribe them ointments. And that's usually, you know, a normal day. A couple weeks ago, this girl came in with her two little brothers and her mom. And she, from head to toe, she was broke out in red bumps. And it, she was just having an allergic reaction, so I prescribed her some ointment. And as I was per prescribing her ointment, I heard coughing, and I turn around, and her little brother is black and blue. He was choking on candy. So in this career, they teach you that you have to stay calm. So I rushed over to him, and I started doing the Heimlich, but the candy wasn't dislodging. I had to make a serious decision, because it's either life or death. I decided to do an emergency tracheotomy, which is where I had to make an incision in his esophagus, and I had one of my nurses bring me a tube and I stuck the tube in his throat so he can get airway. And he started breathing again, thank goodness. And this is one of the reasons why I love this job. Without the Academy of Health Sciences, I wouldn't be the success that I am today, potentially saving someone's life and helping people. Thank you, Academy of Health Sciences.